Hey there, everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I had uh, another video, but um, there's a new tool uh, called Stream Diffusion TD that uh, came out um, this this spring uh, by uh, this really great developer, uh, Dot Simulate, uh, and some of my students were just looking at this tool. Uh, it's for doing uh, real-time um, diffusion um, AI generative uh, images in Touch Designer uh, with a really great frame rate. Um, so the tool has a really great getting started uh, by Dot Simulate on YouTube, um, but some of my students uh, were having some trouble uh, with if you if you're not coming from a computer science background, some of the before installing. Um, might be a little bit confusing if you're not super familiar with Python or, or working with um, this sort of a system. So I wanted to create a video and uh, kind of go through those steps together. Um, or you can just see at a glance here first, like the, the system itself. This is just really beautiful, really good parameters. Um, real time, you can change the prompts here. And we get a really nice, uh, I'm getting some almost yeah, 9, 10 frames per second. I'm running on a, a 3080. Um, so that is pretty exciting. So let's, let's look through these steps here, how you can actually get this set up properly and determine if, uh, if your computer could actually run this. So I've got, um, if you look down in the description, I've got links to all these things I'm going to go through. Uh, but I'm going to maybe just give a, a few tips. Um, so for the first one here, if if you're like really like maybe not not sure how to dive into this, or you're not even sure what kind of GPU you have, maybe, um, so you can check out this link here. Uh, it kind of goes through of how you can determine exactly which GPU you have. Uh, so this uh, only runs on a Windows PC. It must have an NVIDIA GPU, and that NVIDIA card must be uh, CUDA compatible. Um, and so CUDA is basically a bridge between uh, the code that you might write or, or that gets run uh, and making that run on the GPU, whereas most of the time when we're coding, that code gets uh, executed by the CPU. Uh, so this is a way to utilize the processing power of GPUs to run uh, some sort of applications. So you go to this CUDA page, like, okay, you found out which model GPU you have, Go to CUDA page. Like, is that GPU uh, compatible? Right. Most likely, you would have uh, either a GeForce here, NVIDIA RTX, like one of these. So you click this little list and uh, and make sure that your card is on this list. Uh, so it's got a pretty wide uh, capability. Um, the difference just basically is it might run, but your frame rate might be very very slow if you have uh, maybe an older card. Um, so check that list, make sure it's on the list. Uh, you need Python, and not only just Python, you need version 3.10. Uh, and so on on um, dot .simulates page here, it says Python, uh, in other places, as 3.10.9, actually, I, I recall there's specifically it said that. Uh, here it just says 3.10. Uh, I'm running 3.10.10, .10, I believe. Um, so the important thing to know is you cannot just download the latest version uh, if you're not familiar with how Python works. Um, it's it's different from maybe other applications where um, you can count usually on backwards compatibility. Not so with Python. If there's an application written in 3.10 and you're running 3.12, Things things are going to break. There's just a lot of dependencies, a lot of differences, um, and so we don't want this 3.12.3 here. We go to specific release, uh, and by looking at this list here, you can kind of see how the the releases don't really go in order, right? So let's say in February there's 11.8, but then uh, later in March there's another 3.8 that came out, right? So it, it's not really going in a chronological order. Uh, so that kind of shows you how each of these versions uh, has something different happening with it, right? Uh, so I'll just go down here. And like I said, I'm running 3.10.10. Uh, other way, uh, places the dot simulates, it's listed as 3.10.9. So download that. Um, an important thing 
also for all of these. Maybe let's go through Python, Minikuda, uh, and all this stuff. Uh, when you download it, um, it's also important to, if you see a little box that says add to path or add to system path, make sure that's checked. Um, I'll explain what that means exactly in a little bit. It involves something called environment variables on Windows, but if you see that, make sure that's checked. Um, and that, that would go for Python, CUDA, and also a, this Git client that we're going to download uh, in a second here. Okay, next step. CUDA must be, we see this here, 11.8 or 12.1. So same thing. So this most recent CUDA toolkit is 12.4. Do not download 12.4, right? So make sure you download the, the version that um, is specifically asked for. Uh, so let's go to archive. And here we see all of the archived toolkits. Uh, I downloaded 11.8, uh, so I know that works. Uh, you can try 12.1 if you, if you wish. Um, so download that. Again, if you see something that says add to system path, check that when you're installing. Uh, next one. Visual Studio 2022, uh, the free community download. Uh, so this basically, you know, this is an IDE for, for writing code. Uh, it also gives uh, kind of build tools. So basically what's happening with .simulates um, tool that was created, it's, it needs uh, some behind the scenes. It's going to be building uh, something on your system. And Visual Studio gives those tools in order to, to, to build um, the necessary libraries and all that stuff. So you need to download it. Um, and also it specifies um, you need to have a desktop environment for C++, I believe. Uh, so in, in the install, if it asks you that, uh, you're downloading it for desktop C++. Next up, NDI SDK. Uh, so NDI, if you're not familiar with it, it's a really wonderful networked video uh, protocol for sharing video um, between applications, between devices across the network. Um, so what's happening with this tool? Uh, it is essentially using Python to uh, access the generative AI model, and it's getting images from that. But then it needs to send those images, which are in uh, the Python land, and send it over to uh, this touch designer uh, top representation, right? So to do that, we're using something called NDI Python. Um, so we need the NDI SDK um, tools here. So you have to put in, register your name and all that, and you'll receive a link to your email where you can download it. Next up, uh, something called Git. So um, these tools live on the, the, all the dependencies, the libraries that we're using, lives on uh, a repository uh, online somewhere, uh, a GitHub a repo. So Git is a client uh, that's an application on your desktop computer, uh, which enables, you know, from a command prompt on, on your computer, you can, um, you know, type a, a certain command like Git so and so, and you automatically grab things from some online repository. Uh, so we need to do this like as part of the process when you're installing the Stream Diffusion TD stuff. It uses this to automatically grab the things online that it needs and download it with, with without you having to uh, worry about it. Uh, so we get that. Again, if it asks you to add to system path, make sure that is checked during the install. Um, if Maybe let's let's go through this. If you have these installed and maybe you're not sure if they are in your system path or you need to add it manually, you're like, oh shoot, I forgot to do that during the install. Um, here's here's how we do it. So we uh, we need to find and we can uh, we can kind of look look at these here. Okay, there we go. Um, so dot simulate uh, offers this if Git is already installed and not in path. This is a, a, a link here. Um, this is another link that I found for adding Python to path. This is basically the same process. Um, you can use any of these. I, I find if, if you're not really confident with all the stuff, probably you'd want to manually add um, using this method. So we would go through manually add Git. So let's let's just go through all this. So this is kind of talking about doing a little search. 
I'm going to search for. And dun, 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 maybe edit the system environment variables. Let's, let's check that. OK, so system properties will pop up. And down here, I see environment variables. And I don't want user variables. For me, I want system variables. So I go down here. Let's see, I hit. Dun, 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 there we go, path. Uh, and then I hit edit. So I've already done this, but you can see Python is there. Um, I added Git before, CUDA's in there somewhere. Uh, so why why do we need to do this? It's kind of like uh, what this does, if I, can I open up another command prompt? There we go, cool. Um, as a developer, we can run, we can do Python commands directly from the command prompt like this. So if I did, I don't know, let's do version. Boom, OK. So this Python um, is accessing the python.exe executable file that lives somewhere in my system. And it runs this, uh, you know, this, app, uh, this thing called version that just pops back what version of Python that I have. Uh, if Python was not in my path environment variables, this would not work. Um, so what path does is from anywhere on your system, it allows you to use these applications that are listed in path to do some sort of a, a command. Um, so as a, a part of what the stream diffusion is doing, uh, it's using Git, it's using CUDA, it's using Python. So all those things have to be in your path environment variable here in order to basically get permission uh, to, be, to be run from any location. Uh, so that's just, in a nutshell, like why we're doing that. Cool. Uh, so if you, need to, uh, if you need to add Python to Path, you can check this also. It's a similar, uh, similar process of just uh, pasting in the exe file in that environment variable. Um, also, Touch Designer. So this only works in 2023 versions. Uh, so check, check your version. Uh, if you look here in the official downloads, looks like uh, 2023 versions first came around December 5th of last year. Um, so definitely, I mean, try to try to get up to the, the most recent version there. Um, I also had a problem uh, when I had installed all this stuff. Um, I was getting a Vulkan error in Touch Designer when I first um, opened it. And I realized like my NVIDIA driver was a little bit old. So also update your NVIDIA driver. So you can go here, uh, put in your details and download the driver. Also, some people might have, do I have this open here? Uh, some of these have like a GeForce experience uh, application. So this will typically, if you hit drivers, uh, this will show you, you can check for updates. This, this is a little bit easier um, way to do that than trying to find it online. So update your driver. And once you do all that, I think it should work. Um, and then basically what you do is, you know, go through, at that point, you can look through uh, .simulates tutorial. Uh, he goes through kind of installing and, and running it for the first time to install the stream diffusion things, um, creating a virtual environment uh, for your system. And you should be good to go from there. It's just really exciting. Uh, and also shout out to, um, this was based on work by these researchers. Uh, we could see names here. Um, this was a paper that came out, if you look at archive here, this came out December of last year. Um, basically giving the, um, you know, if, if you're, into computer science, if, you, if you're literate in that at all, you can look through all of this. Uh, so the the beauty of what dot simulate has done for us is, you know, taking all this, which is open for anyone, but then it's it's a pretty high um, learning curve if you're not really fluent in in Python land. Um, so he's taken this and and made this really great talks. Um, also, I should emphasize. So this, this isn't just a free download. Uh, you need to um, 
follow.simulate on the, the, the cheapest Patreon level is $5 a month. Uh, so follow that and you can um, get these tools. Um, if you go for the $10 a month, uh, there's also some other exciting, I haven't had a chance to look at these yet, but it looks like some really cool um, AI plus touch designer tools that he's created. So absolutely support um, this creator. I think it looks really exciting. So thank you, let's try it out.